In this video, we are going to add a weapon holder for our uh, player. So, for adding weapon holder, first of all, we have to add a component on our player. So, we'll go to Invector, Shooter, Components, and uh, here you can't see the weapon holder component actually. So, we can come here and we can find our component by adding by clicking on add component and here we can add weapon holder manager okay so we have to add weapon holder manager on our player and inside weapon holder uh, you can see we have a holder and it has size where we can add the holders so we'll not add holders here directly we will add these weapon holders on player itself so first of all we will select our player and uh, we will analyze the mesh of the player and you can see that we have uh, this mesh and uh, if we extend the mesh we will have hips and spine and if we select spine you can see that uh, this is the spine section and we can uh, actually inside the spine section the main spine we can create a another empty object and we can name it weapon weapons holder okay after that inside this game object we will create some more objects so uh, uh, first of all we will arrange this object at the right position where we want to uh, hold our weapon holder so i think uh, this is the right place and after that under this weapon holder we will create a new object and we will rename it to uh, for example ak47 uh, holder okay and inside this holder we will add our mesh for ak47 so we have created low poly meshes here uh, if we go to prefabs we already have these uh, ready prefabs uh, which we have added for the weapons so uh, this is the class 2 we will add it here in ak47 and uh, now we will just make the position to 0 0 0 so note that this is the only mesh of the weapon it's not the uh, real weapon okay uh, inside the invector ready weapon this is only the prefab of that weapon so we will arrange this weapon according to our needs and uh, you can arrange it whatever you want uh, wherever you want so uh, I will just arrange it like this and then we can uh, select the AK holder and we can arrange the position as well. Uh, so when we are happy with the result, we can move further. Okay. So now we have uh, AK47 holder. We will also add another game object and we will rename it to, uh, for example, uh, shotgun holder and for shotgun holder we will add shotgun and we will make it position 0 0 0 and then we will arrange the shotgun as well so uh, we can arrange it uh, like this or like this well, you can adjust it according to your needs and uh, when you are happy uh, with the result we can move further so I think uh, we can hold it here maybe and also we can check that if uh, it's overriding the uh, AK-47 or not and I think uh, yeah it's in good place so AK-47 we can uh, move it a little bit uh, here and for this uh, that's fine I think we are happy with this result 
uh, definitely we can add other objects as well and we can create a new empty object we can name it uh, a sniper hand holder or handler whatever you want you can add and for sniper we can add sniper mesh and then we can position it at the right place so yeah like this and now i think uh, sniper is quite big so from here we can adjust its angle and then we will move it and you can add it uh, anywhere uh, you want and i will just add it here and outside little bit okay and yeah that's nice so for this uh, shotgun holder we can rotate it little bit also uh, just a minute okay so we have uh, adjusted the position definitely you can adjust your positions as per your need and uh, i think if we select these weapons and if we rotate it little bit like this then maybe yeah this is the good position i think so that's nice and the last weapon we have rpg we can uh, create rpg weapon as well so uh, empty game object and here we can add rpg holder and now we will add rpg 7 here and uh, we can make its position to 000, zero and then we can move it like this and like this and then we will adjust its position and when we are happy then we can move further and i think uh, we can place it uh, in the middle uh, like this and sniper we will move it uh, we will rotate it little bit so for sniper uh, because it's not visible uh, in a good way so we will just uh, rotate it like this and then we can <coughs> move it a little bit so now i think uh, we have a nice uh, weapon holder and our player has this weapon holder so uh, let's add this weapon holder uh, uh, the component so we will select all the weapon holders okay like this and we will add a component on these weapon holder and we will add component of weapon holder okay this one v weapon holder so if we select this now you can see uh, a equipment point name okay so here we have to add right arm right arm okay so now this is the right arm position also we have a item id so this is important and uh, here you can see holder object and weapon object so for individual items we have uh, different item ids so what we will do i will just uh, go to player i will just uh, add a, uh, some items uh, for finding out the ids okay and actually we can open the item list here and we can directly analyze the weapon ids so here you can see that uh, we have these ids and uh, for the shotgun for assault rifles you can see we have 11 id for shotgun we have 12 id and for sniper 15 and rpg 16 okay so we will add these ids so for 47 we have 11 id here and for shotgun holder we have 12 for uh, sniper holder we have uh, 15 for rpg we have 16 
okay after this we will add uh, this equipment point name right arm is coming from the right hand transform okay so uh, because we will hold our weapon in right hand that's why we are writing here right arm okay uh, if you have a weapon with the left arm like archery then you can add left hand okay so now we will select the AK-47 holder and here you can see holder object we will drag drop this object and weapon object so here we will add the mesh of the object okay and uh, shotgun holder we will select it we will drag drop the main shotgun here holder and the mesh here okay similarly we will come to sniper holder we can make it like this and then we have a rpg holder where we can add rpg holder and rpg mesh uh, now everything is fine and uh, actually we have this player shooter and uh, unfortunately we didn't open the prefab and then we didn't make uh, changes so uh, we have to create another prefab for this player shooter or we can replace the uh, that older prefab so i will go to ready players and uh, here i will uh, just rename it player shooter with uh, holder and then i will just add it here okay and we will make it original prefab so now if we delete it and if we place it here then we, we have a player with a weapons okay so now let's uh, check the functionality whether weapon holder is working or not so we will play the game and you will see that our player uh, will not have any weapon initially so uh, let's see how it will look like and you can see this is the normal player and now we are going to pick the weapon by pressing e and uh, e and e sorry uh, sorry e and e okay and now if we select inventory then hopefully we will have our items in our holders let's see how it will look like so yeah as you can see we have a nice holder we can uh, shoot and we can select if we uh, switch our weapon to two you can see it has selected the new weapon and from the holder we have other three weapons uh, which are we are not using three and now we have next weapon and it's uh, working absolutely fine so that's it for this video <coughs> we have successfully learned how we can add weapon holder for our player in next video we will move further